Yo, welcome back to Sling Riders. We're back with another video. Today, we're going to give Blue a facelift. Now, this is Blue. We've already seen it. We've already made some modifications. But today, we're going to give a facelift to the grill. We're going to replace that grill with brand new in the mail. Got it today. A well needed facelift. Let's see if I can open this up. Bam. So we're going to show you how to replace that with this well needed facelift for blue. Stick around. I believe it's just two screws. See how easy it is. Okay, so the direction says the grill, once I get in here, basically there's two screws down in the grill. It needs to be taken out one here and one on the other side, and this supposedly just pulls out. So, let's see. You see the screw there, the other side. Um, forget the actual size of the screw that I put on the screen. So let me see if I can get myself in position to get this out to get the new grill in. One, one thing I can say is working on this bad boy in the short time I had it, it's really been a pain in the butt because it's, first of all, the hood doesn't open all the way up. And it's so tight. And trying to get an angle that I can show you guys is also a well, let's see here. So, let's see if I can stick this right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to get into this screw right here and back it up. Okay. It's probably easier if I took off the total hood, but I'm not going to do that. So, this is actually recessed just enough. I might be able to get it from the bottom if I can't get it from the top. So, it's, it might be recessed just enough to where... Uh, let's see. Try from the bottom. Okay, I was able to get the side out, and I didn't film it because I was contortionist. But let me show you. Basically, what I did was, I went into the bottom here. And I'm going to show you this time. But if you go into the bottom here, you can get your hand up right to that crevice right there. Just enough where you can get to the screw. And it's, it's not tight at all. I mean, it's not tight at all. I was able to do it one hand, so... I'm going to try to show you that again, and then I'm going to put the new uh, grill in place, and it's just snug tight, so um, thank you Polaris for not making that crazy tight, because that would be incredibly hard to get, so let me reach through here again. Alright guys, would you figure out what me do? Hopefully that kind of show you right there. Let's see what we get.
and it's coming out pretty easy. So we now should just go for it. And let's see. Assist to remove the grill, slide towards the driver's side, and pull for it. So Look how loose this is. Oh my gosh, I gotta fix this. This is not good at all. Look at this. I'm gonna fix that while we're in here. Just pull towards the driver's side. And remove. And that housing is way too loose right there. Oh my goodness. So I come this way? No. Come off like this. And it still don't make sense. I should go through here. Let me come out the front. <sighs> A few minutes later. Guys, after all that, basically, what I did was just pull it out it came out the front man structures really do stink so let's see if this replacement goes in as easy so it's pretty flexible and uh, this was a lot more sturdy so let's see if it actually goes in it's easy as it came out Not so this is what it out and basically I just reached in and it came out now, I also noticed that this is loose. Look at this, guys. We gotta fix that. But, if it goes in, it came out basically, it just went in like this. And it kinda, kinda bent it into place. So, let's see what happens with this one. Let's see if I can set the camera up. Real world, real world guys, I don't hide nothing from you. Totally transparent. So let's see. A few minutes later. Alright guys, so a little elbow grease and intervention. And I got this sucker in here. I tell you the structures suck. Now let's be getting lined up with the holes here. And we'll be good to go. Alright guys, that's a wrap. So, tell you a little secret. So, behind here, first of all, you gotta bend it like this. And it just pops in right inside the front lip. Unless you take off this assembly here and I didn't want to do it, okay? Because I wasn't really sure what those springs go to. Inside here, there's two lips are two inserts to go out that actually fit into the grill. So the grill comes in like this, right? 
and then the whole grill shifts to the left inside the slots and once it's into the slots it lines up perfect screws in there we go now that destruction so let me try to fight I can show you these lips right here I don't know if you can see them or not bad camera angle there we go anyway that's the after finish guys and that's how she looks new face grill for the slingshot like subscribe sling riders Bay Area, you guys want to come ride with us? We got about three slings. We want to start a riding group. Hit me up Facebook, Sling Riders, Instagram, Sling Riders, YouTube. Big Sam, appreciate you. Like, subscribe, more content to come. I got a lot more I'm going to do. I got some sound deputy I'm going to put in, and I just noticed that my headlight assembly is loose. Like, subscribe, and uh, that's blue. 22 player slingshot R with a new facelift and a new grill.